All right, so this is a test video because I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel on educational assessment and I happen to have a lot of time in the car right now on my way to school. So um, I thought I would start with a topic um, that is really common, probably the most basic concept in uh, educational assessment, and that is criterion reference testing versus norm reference testing. Um, and a lot of people get confused about, um, about what they are and what they mean and how they apply to different types of tests. So criterion reference testing is comparing students to a standard. So does little Susie know how to um, invert fractions? Does little Susie know how to carry the, um, the numbers in long division? Um, it's an absolute measure of a, of a skill um, or a set of knowledge. Then there's norm reference, and norm reference is comparing um, students to a sample, but it's also based on a skills framework um, it, for the most part. So, um, so you're still able to look at what information students know and don't know, but it's um, as compared to a more genericized um, skills-based framework. Um, and you can map standards to it, but it's not as granular um, a piece of information as um, criterion reference, but the benefit of norm reference is that you can truly look at growth and you can truly look at a comparison um, uh, as to where the kid falls in relation to all of the other kids. Um, kids like them, kids not like them, um, and you can, you can project and predict a lot more easily with a measure um, that is norm referenced, which means it's based on the normal curve. Um, so you're taking the larger sample and looking at it in terms of a normal curve. So that's the basic difference between criterion reference and norm reference. However, it's not that simple because sometimes tests will combine criterion reference and norm reference. Um, there's a couple of state tests that do that, and that's so that they can look at standards, but they can also embed some items that show them growth. Um, so you can have kind of a hybrid model that is uh, attempts to do both. I'm not sure if um, it's a good thing or a bad thing. It just sort of is what it is. I think it's I think it's a good thing on if you're just looking at a criterion reference test in a state, to add a norm reference component is, is a good idea if you're trying to look at growth. Um, and as unfortunately as we all know, as we move towards teacher effectiveness, um, we need better, more accurate ways to look at growth. Um, not saying I love the concept, but if you're gonna do it, um, you might as well do it right. And so that is kind of the right way to do it, to use a norm, norm referenced type of a measure. Um, but still stick to the criterion to get some of the more standards-based information so that you can make diagnostic decisions based on the test as well. So that's a quick uh, explanation of criteri criterion reference versus norm reference testing in the educational world. Um, I will try another video again soon.